Well, everything's set up. Within 30 minutes, the St. Patrick Parish Festival will begin. First News anchor Lindsay Watson joins us live from Hubbard with what we can expect. Yeah, Dave, you can see some activity behind me here at the food tent. They are getting ready, and it smells absolutely incredible. You can just smell the meatballs, the cavatelli, the, ca the stuffed cabbage, you know, all of those things that the St. Patrick's Parish Festival is known for. And I know that I was teasing you. I was going to talk about the lemon shakes coming up in this half hour, but then something happened that reminds me about why I absolutely love coming to festivals like this, getting out and talking with our community. And it all started with this bracelet that I have on right here that says, pray for us. Then I found this tent. These bracelets are helping to raise money for little Jude Sidor Franzak. You see him right here. He is two years old. He just received a heart transplant back on July 18th. So at this tent, they are raising money for Jude's family. He is doing well. He's a local boy. So I'm talking with Lisa Love tonight to learn more about this. So if you want to come out and donate money, you can do that. So Lisa, tell me a little bit about Jude and what you guys are doing here at the festival to raise money for his family. Well, Jude is a member of our parish family, and he has been in the hospital since February. He just received his heart transplant, and you can see in the picture he's doing fabulous, as grandmother told us. And our um, craft group and our Shine Children's uh, Ministry decided to get together, and we put all these bracelets together. We have almost, um, there's over 500 bracelets that they worked on. And we're selling them for a donation to help raise money to help with the medical expenses for the family and to help pay for, for Jude's medical expenses. So. Absolutely. And you said he's doing well, which is the great news here. Obviously, something like that, very costly for the family. Again, just a donation. You also have pens and paper out here so people can write well wishes to little Jude as well. So tell me about how these organizations came together. You knew that you wanted to do something like this. Right. Actually, one of our um, parents whose children participate in our Shine Ministry, she came up with this idea and she said, you know, wouldn't it be nice if the craft club and the children's group got together and worked together? Um, we got in touch with Father Mike and he said that was a great idea. So we just collaborated with the other um, person that's in charge of the craft group and it just all came together. We probably had 40 people come one evening and they donated their time and we had a, a wonderful time making the bracelets and just fellowship and community and that's that's the great thing about St. Patrick's is that we just all pull together we all work together you can see from the festival even here how everybody pulls together so Lisa thank you so much I appreciate it and we will come back definitely and do another story with you guys because this is so sweet I think and like I said 30 minutes this festival will start officially kicking off but people are making their way here and if you want to stop by this tent it's all for a good cause. Definitely very community oriented here. I'll talk to you guys in about 30 minutes, but reporting live now from Hubbard, Lindsay Watson, WKBN 27 First News. All right. And that book put keep the faith and then sign my name because we're all going to be praying for him. Thanks very much. We'll be right back on First News at 5.